Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to Questioning Sense with me. Matt, how you doing? Um, crazy times, isn't it? It really is. So this is uh, mine and my son's third week now of <laughs> isolation. So um, as you can imagine, it's uh, been an interesting time, shall we say. Listen, I hope you're doing really well. Um, I hope you're keeping safe and I hope you're keeping sane, keeping your hands clean and your mind stimulated. Now, because I had all this extra time on my hands, I assumed that I'd uh, have loads of time to do videos and stuff like that, but it's not quite working out like that because I have a young man with me who needs a lot of entertaining. Um, so that's what I've been doing, basically. My partner, she is a key worker, so she is working while I'm, I'm trying to keep the home fires burning. Um, so we're gonna come back with another review today, um, and this is gonna be of this, which is Penhaligon's Malabar. And this came out in 2003, and it's a, a sort of a spicy oriental citrus, basically. Um, it's described um, quite accurately as a, a very feminine fragrance, and it is quite feminine, to be honest, but I really enjoy wearing it. This is um, one of the rare fragrances that I have that me and my wife actually share. Um, she likes it as well. It's um, I don't think it's too feminine. I think it is feminine, um, but I don't think it's far too, too much. It, it, it's about as, I mean, there's a couple of um, fragrances that I have that are very feminine that I actually like to wear or, you know, share with my wife. Um, and this is certainly one of them. I think if you're confident with sort of lighter or florally or more feminine type fragrances, you'll be all right with this if you are a guy. Um, but it may well be more one for the ladies. Beautiful fragrance. What we'll do is um, talk a little bit about it. I'll have a spray. I'm wearing it at the moment. Uh, and then we can just have a bit of a chat about, you know, where you wear it, that kind of thing, and what it's good for. Now, it came out in 2003, and the notes are as follows. At the top, you have lemon, you have tea, and you have coriander. And then in the middle, you have ginger, nutmeg, cardamom, rose, and orris root. And on the base, we have amber, musk, and sandalwood. Now, it's a beautiful fragrance. I've got to say that straight away. It smells absolutely divine. It wasn't one I was looking to buy. I actually bought a fragrance from a friend of mine and she um, she popped in this partial bottle for me. And that was quite a while ago. I mean, I've had this a good six months, over, I think, now. Um, because if you, if you look back through some of the older videos, you'll notice that I've made a, a series of videos where I looked at Penhaligon's Cairo, Penhaligon's Halfetti, because um, I was looking to get, get one from Penhaligon's because I love the presentation of these beautiful little bottles. I mean, that is so cool. But I didn't know which one to buy, and I, I went out and bought lots of samples of um, various Penhaligon's fragrances. And although they all smelt lovely, I couldn't get one that performed on me. Um, and unfortunately, this one is exactly the same. It smells amazing, but the performance is really, really not very good at all. So whilst we're in, you know, stuck at home, this has become a real good friend of mine because I can reapply it whenever I want. I can top it up, um, and when it starts to fade away, which it does, I will just have another spray. So if you're looking for something um, that you could just, you know, wear around the house and stuff like that, this would be a good option. But the, I mean, the only thing is Penhaligon's perfumes are very expensive. So, you know, to spend a lot of money on a full bottle of this just to sort of wear around the house may seem a little bit ludicrous. Um, I have read that some people are comparing it to this, which is New York Intense by Puff Homes de Nicolai. They don't really smell alike. Um, I don't really get that comparison at all. This is, um, they're the, the nothing like this is one of the best perfumes ever made um so i don't particularly like to compare this to anything because it'll win um it's just a, a an absolutely stunning fragrance what it does remind me a little of is rasputin by swedoft um i think the pen halligans and the um swedoft perfume both have quite a similar opening and they both do the same sort of thing with um malabar you have lemon and tea they're really really um Really, really noticeable straight away. They're your, your kind of like, the, the big introduction is, is this kind of citric tea. Um, smells a little bit like Earl Grey. It's lovely. The spices are there. Coriander, mm, I don't pick, pick that up too much, but the ginger, the nutmeg, and the cardamom. The cardamom is the strongest, which is probably why I'm reminded a little bit of this, because this has got cardamom in it as well. Um, some people really go on about the cardamom in uh, Rasputin. I, I, I find it nice. It's uh, they're, they're both well blended. The Penhaligons is incredibly well blended. It's a beautiful um, little journey. As, as, as time goes by with it, what happens is the citrus kind of sits back a bit, the tea comes a bit more forward, the spices are more announced, 
And as the spices start to come forward, what they do is they bring the other materials that's used in this perfume to make this wonderful sort of rosy accord, but it's a warm rose. Um, it's not a naturally uh, sharp rose or anything like that. It's quite, the whole base of it is quite warm. So you have this sort of warm, sweet, um, ambery rose that slides into this sandalwood. Uh, and it, and it, it just, it's just a beautiful wear. Uh, it really is, it's just all too brief. But the one reason I do like it so much is because it's so calming. It just makes you feel chilled. It's a really relaxing perfume. And uh, you know, these sort of times when we're kind of forced to stay indoors, it, it's nice to have something that you can sort of relax with. Um, I think if you were to buy it, you would be looking to this as a, an evening fragrance. I mean, you could wear it any time of the day. It'll probably be nice in the spring mornings. It'll be nice in the summer and it'll certainly be fine in the winter as well. But you need to pick your venue to wear it very carefully because it just does not last. I mean, I, within three hours of applying this, I can't find it. Um, and that, to me, for something as expensive as that is, is pretty bad. I wouldn't be... Um, you know, if I bought it full, if I bought that in retail, gone into a Pentaligon's boutique, sprayed it in store, and thought, "Well, oh, that smells divine," because it does, and then taken it home and tried to wear it and found that it had gone within three hours, I'd be pretty pissed. Um, my wife wore it to work once, uh, and she said she'd lost it. She'd lost the smell of it by the time she'd got to work, which is, you know, her commute's like an hour and a half at worst. So that was a bit disappointing. But it's. Um, I needed to make a review of it so you got my opinion on it because the problem is it smells so good. It really, really does smell beautiful, but this performance issue is a pain. Um, so yeah, that is my take on a beautiful, feminine-leaning, slightly unisex, spicy citrus fragrance called Malabar by Penhaligons. Now, if you actually have got a thirst for more information about Panhaligons, if you look at our review of either Halfetti or Cairo um, down below, you will, um, I've, I did quite a bit of the background of the company as well. So um, there's a bit more history about Panhaligons there. It was a Cornish guy came down to London and set up a kind of a barber sort of thing. It's, the company has got an interesting um, pedigree and they have been around for a very long time. They're, they're actually foreign owned now or um, European owned now. I think it's a Italian company that's got them. And, you know, they're churning out some interesting fragrances. They really, you know, do smell fantastic. I've just not found one yet. Um, that actually lasts on me. I'm sure they're there and I will find them. And when I do, I will let you know. Listen, I've got stuff to do with the young man over there. So I will leave it at this. Thank you very much for your time. It's always appreciated as ever. Um, the hat's still on, so that uh, is a sign of uh, <laughs> we're still stuck indoors. As soon as I can review without this hat, I'm gonna be filming everywhere and anywhere, not just in my living room. So listen, take care guys. Thank you very much for your time. It's really, really appreciated. And we'll try and keep these videos coming as quickly as we can. And we shall see you on the next one. Take care, many thanks, and bye.